But first, let's get out to senior national correspondent Brian Enton, live for us there in West Palm Beach. Brian, what is the latest at this hour? Yeah, Nicole, we're live outside Trump's golf club here behind me. It's still totally shut down as the Secret Service and FBI continue to investigate. We expect the Secret Service director to be back out here uh, really any minute now to do a walkthrough of the area and see for himself what went down here. Uh, but I want to go back to that body camera video because we just got this a little while ago, and it is dramatic. Uh, it was taken about 20 miles from where I'm standing in Martin County, uh, where they were able to pull over Ryan Wesley Ralph. Very strange. You see him there. He's got his shirt up over his head uh, when he's walking back to the police. Uh, and investigators tell us that he, he didn't answer any questions, uh, that he was sort of emotionless, uh, but that he did say yes when he was asked if he knew why he was being pulled over. Uh, he was in court just a couple of hours ago, Nicole, in federal court here in West Palm Beach. The two charges he's facing right now, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and also possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. Uh, we're told by sources that more charges could be coming. These are just the initial charges that they were able to uh, hold him on at this point. But this is so interesting. In those charging documents, and this is new, we were able to get the court paperwork uh, in the charging documents, it says that they they traced uh, his cell phone. They, they got an emergency warrant, Nicole, and they were able to track his cell phone over here to the golf club, and that he first started pinging along the fence line where they eventually found him at 1.59 a.m. yesterday, and that his phone was pinging along the fence line from 1.59 a.m. until 1.31 p.m. after he was shot at by Secret Service and fled the area, and that's when you saw the body camera video, which means that he was essentially camped out there along the fence line for, for 12 hours or so, uh, which leads to all sorts of questions, Nicole, um, because apparently uh, pr former President Trump added this golf outing as, as a last-minute thing. It wasn't on his official schedule. No one was really supposed to know that he was going to be go going golfing yesterday. But, but now to find out uh, that this gunman was camped out there since 1.59 in the morning, waiting there uh, for the opportunity when the former president was going to come to that hole. Uh, and, you know, he had the, the AK-47 pointed through the fence, according to police. So thank goodness uh, that Secret Service agent was able to spot him before, before something really terrible may have happened, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, it certainly does raise a lot of questions today. Brian, the acting Secret Service director is supposed to be touring that golf course today. He is. Yeah, we're expecting him to be back uh, here uh, sometime this afternoon. We know he met with former President Trump at Mar-a-Lago this morning. He's been talking with the Secret Service agents who were on scene, and then he's going to tour uh, the crime scene and see it for himself. It'll be interesting to see if he comes out and addresses the media after. Uh, you remember with Butler, Pennsylvania, crazy to think it was just nine weeks ago we had this other attempt at assassination of the former president. Uh, but the director then, which is a different director, now we've got an acting director, she resigned. The director then uh, really came under fire because people were concerned that she wasn't being transparent. She didn't have a media briefing right away. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see whether the acting director comes out and, and addresses the media and the American people after he does uh, this tour here at the golf club. Yeah, absolutely, because there certainly uh, are plenty of questions. All right, Brian Inton live for us there in Florida. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.